Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil and welcome to MS-DOS mode super easy. So you just set up your Windows 98 machine, but you struggle with setting up MS-DOS. So this video is just for you. There are two files that you need to download from my website. The first one is the drivers package. So these are DOS drivers for the mouse as well as for the CD-ROM drive. The other file you need to download is this file here, restart in MS-DOS mode, which is a PIF file. And that's it. Place that onto your desktop and you're good to go. The good thing about this solution is it doesn't mess around with your existing system files. This is totally separate. So to now restart the machine into MS-DOS mode, just double click here and the machine will restart. And there you go. And this is the startup menu I put together. Those of you who've been watching my uh, past videos, you might be familiar with the startup menu for MS-DOS 6.22. However, this one now works in MS-DOS mode. So you just choose whatever option you need. For example, uh, old Wing Commander games, they require expanded memory. Some games like Tarkin 2, for example, doesn't work with expanded memory. That one needs, needs extended memory. And for benchmarking, you might want to go for the extended memory without a mouse and without a CD drive but we're gonna go with the first option. Also take note of the line talking about the Turtle Beach Santa Cruz sound card. That's a PCI sound card. And if the system finds a DOS start batch file, it will also process that. The reason I did this was because a lot of PCI and ISA sound cards will put the MS-DOS mode drivers into the DOS start batch file. So I made sure that that file also gets processed. So if you have such a sound card, you should also have working sound. So let's try everything out. If I type in edit, I should have a working mouse. That's all working. And if I switch to my D drive, I should see my optical uh, drive. That's a CD system shock. And once you're done in MS-DOS, just type in the words exit and it will restart and you're back in Windows. So that's really all you need. I try to make it as easy, super easy, so to speak. So have a go on your system and let me know if it works. Now, for those of you who want to know a little bit more about how this works behind the scenes, stay tuned. That's what we're going to talk about now. So the restart in MS-DOS mode is a PIF file, a program information file. And usually when you go into MS-DOS mode, you click on a start button, select shut down, and then you select restart in MS-DOS mode. And this option will actually launch this file here, exit to DOS, um, this one here, which is also a PIF file. And PIF files have uh, options which you can configure. Now, all these PIF files point to the command.com. So if you have a look at this one, it will say under program, it will say command line windows slash command.com. So if you want to create your own PIF file, you right click on uh, on command.com, go create shortcut, it creates a shortcut, you put it on the desktop, and that's basically, basically what I did. Of course, I added a few things, and that's what we're going to have a look at now. So I'm just going to uh, trash that one, and we have a look at this one. So right click, go properties, and program. Um, I changed the working folder. If you don't put the C colon slash in there, it will uh, drop you into the Windows folder, which is a little bit annoying. Now, under batch file, you can process any additional batch files. So if you write your own batch file, for example, for your sound drivers, you can put it in there. I could have put the DOS start batch file in here, but the problem is uh, not every system uses the DOS start batch file. So if you put it in here, you get an error. So I actually check whether that file exists and only if it exists, I process it. The other thing we need to do is click on advanced and um, under specify new MS-DOS configuration, this is where you put in your config sys. So if you ever want to change something like maybe you need more files or more buffers or something else, that's where you do it. But this is basically the traditional startup menu that I've been using for many, many years. Tried and tested, it, it loads the uh, CD-ROM driver and the memory options and all of that. And down below here, we've got the AutoExec batch file. Same deal, this is all part of the starter pack. And the only thing I added specifically to the Windows version is the if exist line. So this basically checks whether or not the DOS start batch file exists. And if it exists, 
it basically processes it. And this means that a lot of sound cards, for example, the Aurel Vortex 2 and a few other cards that use the DOS start batch file will work out of the box. And that's pretty much it. So it's, it's actually quite straightforward. And as I said, I, I was trying to make it super easy so that anyone out there who is comfortable configuring Windows 98 and getting all the drivers and everything going, but doesn't know the way around MS-DOS, uh, basically it's for you guys that you have an easier life and you can experience DOS gaming. Because a lot of these Windows 98 machines, it's, it's simply easier to set up Windows rather than uh, install DOS on its own. So that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching, uh, give this a go, let me know how it works for your machine and as always hit the like or the dislike button depending on how you feel about the video, sub to my channel if you haven't done so, share the video and give me some feedback down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.